Hey everyone, and welcome back. Today, markets closed red for the third day in a row with the NASDAQ down over 4% and the other major indices falling close behind. Looking at the NASDAQ weekly chart, we are on track for six back-to-back -back weeks of losses, which we haven't seen in a very long time. In fact, the declines have been so bad that all the gains from last year have been completely erased, and we are now back to 2020 levels. Yes, 2020. I know that's hard to believe, but as I mentioned before, when these moves happen, they happen very fast. Now, I'm getting questions left and right, whether this is the time to buy, whether the markets have bottomed out here, and in short, not yet. Now, if you're a short-term trader like myself, you're going to have bounces here and there because volatility goes both ways, so there's definitely opportunities out there to play. However, for the majority of people, I would be in no rush to get into these markets because of what I'm seeing in the bond market. Now, for those of you that have been following my channel, you would know that I've been talking about the bond market and treasury yields since last February. If you haven't seen any of those videos, please go check them out. You'll understand a lot better what I'm about to talk about here and appreciate it that much more. Now, what I have on the screen here is the 10-year U.S. Treasury yield. This is basically the interest rate you get paid for holding on to a 10-year U.S. Treasury bond. And as you can see, it has been rising very, very fast. I started covering the yield around here, and we've more than doubled since then. Now, two main reasons why we're increasing so much here. The first one, obviously, is that the Fed is hiking rates at an aggressive pace. Obviously, not as aggressive as they need to be, but they are nevertheless hiking rates very, very fast. And that is putting a lot of upward pressure on the yield here because they are trying to catch up to inflation, which is sitting at around 8.5% according to the government, although a lot of people believe it's a lot higher than that. The second reason, obviously, is that people do not want to lose purchasing power. If inflation is, in fact, around 8.5%, why would you hold on to something that's only yielding you 3%? It doesn't make any sense. So a lot of people are, well, they have been and still are getting rid of their treasuries, as we can see here. The sell-off here has been pretty remarkable. But it's not just in treasuries. We see it also in corporate bonds. We see it in high yield. High yield is starting to roll over too. So all across the bond market, we are seeing massive problems. And again, the reason why this is so important and something I cover in my previous videos is that the bond market is more than double the size of the stock market. So obviously, if you have problems in the bond market, you're going to have problems in the stock market which is what we're seeing now. So what's the takeaway here? Well, every single day I keep track of the TLT. This is the main one, you can track others as well, but this one I've been monitoring every single day for like two years now. And obviously this is falling down very rapidly. So this indicates to me that we are not at a bottom yet, that this is not really the time to buy. So when would be the time to buy? Well, as I have said before, the Fed will continue hiking rates until markets fall to a certain point. At that time, which I mean, I don't know what that point is, but at that time, they will stop hiking rates, reverse course, and start quantitative easing, just like they did back in 2020, which at that point, we will have the greatest rally of all time. But until then, markets will continue grinding lower. Around the time though they do reverse, you should see a bottoming out in bond ETFs, including the TLT. So that would probably signal to me around that time when that happened, that that would be the time to start deploying a pretty massive portion of my capital. But until then, until I see a bottoming out here in the TLT and the other bond ETFs, I'm not gonna be in much of a hurry and neither should you. So that is it from me. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.